and welcome to Remember When with Dean Doherty, a podcast where I, Dean Doherty, ask my guests to remember when something happened in pop culture history that had some sort of effect on them. You can buy tickets to see my new show, The Hendu, um, which will be in the Opera House and an NI regional tour this autumn winter at geohitch.co.uk. You'll find tickets on the internet if you just Google The Hendu. If, if you Google The Hendu, you might just find Hendu things to do. If you Google The Hendu... Opera House Belfast, geohitch.co.uk is where you need to go to get tickets to that. Um, today, my guests are boxer and boxing manager, Jamie Conlon, and comedian, Jordan Robinson. Hello. I introduced you there like it was a... Yeah, like it was like a proper fight. boxing audience, fight, yeah. yeah. Why am I not doing... <laughs> you really should. Why am I not doing that for the comedian's boxing? <laughs> I'm actually really looking forward to that. Who is doing that? Tommy. Yeah, Tom McCarvey's doing it. He's doing it. Yeah. You have a hand in it all, don't you? Aye, wee bit. Two hands. <laughs> <laughs> Located in gloves. I have two hands and gloves. <laughs> yeah. Um, have you secretly trained with anybody? No. Okay. No. Are so you not? It's all going to be new to me. Okay. What is your husband like? Or your um, he's, like? He has, he's flat out. Although he's, I think he's hurt himself. You're I wonder when this is going out because he's, <laughs> he's trying to keep it a secret. <laughs> he's, he's a bit sore. He's trying to flat out. He is really he is. looking at himself in the mirror and all in shadow boxing? Oh, he's, Beating me up. <laughs> yeah. He, he's taking it really seriously. He's doing so much shit talk online as well to try and like, just forget the crack of it all, isn't he? And he, he's taking it really seriously. He's training like at least once, maybe twice a day. Like, both fitness and mm-hmm. sparring and stuff. And he's been sparring with like Mickey and Patty and, and a few of the guys. But I think he, I think he thinks he's, he, his chances are good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I think everybody thinks his chances are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I not, think... not to, not to say anything about Pete, but yeah, I think Sean has it. The guy he's fighting, um, the other comedian Pete Giffen, he, something another comedian had said to me that he messaged them as so all people need to stop on their podcast. <laughs> <laughs> he said about how much I'm going to get my head kicked. Out. <laughs> That's especially why I said that. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, everyone said I'm going to fucking get battered. <laughs> it's just. Do you think it gets spilled over in, into like a, an actual fight at a comedy store, or comedy club? Oh, he's like, <laughs> I, think, I think Sean has done that much to talk online too, that he's like, are we fighting? I are we don't friends know. or not? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I think with my husband, if he like, if he had had the opportunity when he was younger, he'd have fucking loved to have been a boxer. Oh, serious? Yeah. I think it, it just ne- it was never something that was in, you've done it since you were really young. It's been yeah. something that's in your family and something that, didn't your daddy train you and stuff as well? He did, I. So something that was he in. He tricked his door to go, that was the only thing. What, what do you mean? Here's a uh, Snickers thrown uh, into the boxing well, ring. Technically, yes. <laughs> he um, he said I'd give you 50 quid if you stay for the year. That's a lot of money at that age. But he, he was never going to give us 50 quid. Three nights right. a week for the full year, me and my brother Brenton. Um, yeah. And he convinced me to go because Brent wanted to go. He had said, Make, I played football. And he said, Make alone is small like you, but he, he boxed and he got brilliant. Yeah. And I went, Fucking let me make alone. Like a middle of the footballer. Uh, yeah. Oh, why? Okay. I didn't want to be no boxer. No. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted yeah. to be a footballer, but he tricked us to go. And then we were just in. Mick, on the other hand, he actually enjoyed hitting people. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So he you can't followed. just drag him off the street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You had to keep him in, <laughs> in man, a disciplined like, so manner. There was a bit of difference between us two. Like, so. Parents tell awful lies to their kids, don't they? To get them to like, like to get them to do like the amount of times I'm drinking Pepsi Max and my daughter's like juice and I'm all that's mummy's medicine. You can't have that. So you fizz it, I'll blow your fucking brains out. You're only one. You know like that. Um, yeah, but so it's always so it's always been in your 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 lives thing growing up. Whereas my husband, I think he's like that's something I'd have absolutely loved it on. And I was like, you're on the wrong side of thirty now. For hitting, hitting. He's fortieth this year. So yeah. What Andrew? Oh, he wouldn't be the oldest one boxing. Paddy would be older than him, wouldn't he? Yeah, Paddy and Ronan, I think. That's out all their ages now. <laughs> no, Ian. Ian's 40, 44 and a half. And a half? I, so, I think so, yeah. Geez. That's so creepily sure Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's paramedics on, on standby here. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. a bit more dangerous than I initially Are thought. there paramedics yes, on standby? Yeah, yeah, oh, good, yeah, okay. Because yeah. I was thinking that, because I'm going to it, but like, as a spectator to just enjoy. And... Um, does he does he look different to you in terms of his physique, or does he just still look the same? I don't see him with clothes off, Jamie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's a few extra braces. <laughs> um, no, he does. He's very fit. He, he's always been fit and athletic, Sean. Um, so he's he's like yeah, he's he's much more fit and athletic now. I'm not in his direction, 
But yeah, he's def he's definitely like putting on the time. Yeah. I think it's gonna be. Oh yeah. It'll be good. Yeah. But then I wonder. So like the the, the main fight of the night is Ronan and Paddy. Paddy. Aye. Yeah. Because they're the biggest. Mm-hmm. Isn't that how it works normally? The Something big guys the, go last. Or they're the biggest draw. They're the biggest draw. I think it's the the, the, the biggest guys and a good draw as well, I suppose. Mm. And they both have fighting experience as well because Ronan used to do like MMA and Paddy used to do a bit of boxing, didn't he? He keeps saying this. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I not believe no. him when he said it. I think... Like, he, do, he does keep telling people he has, yeah. Oh, but I don't believe a word of it. Uh, oh, yeah. Absolutely yeah. not. Like, I think he's... They've got fighting experiences and like they used to get like dragged apart in school oh, from okay. people. I don't know if it's like <laughs> in the ring or like trained. Do you know what I mean? I think that's a completely different thing. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. But it'll be great. So you're is your company providing? I oh, we're just helping helping the law. So yeah. Um <clears throat> helping with Joe and, and stuff like that. But it's it's been interesting hearing hearing how it's all gonna play Are you scundered for them all? Do you know when no. you're all like stop trying to, like stop trying to be a fighter? <laughs> no. Stop no. trying to be a I'm scundered for them all. <laughs> no, I'm not. But you, do you right. know be I did a white collar boxing event about ten years ago in the Europa where we trained for like six yeah. weeks and did it for charity. Mm-hmm. And I sw- I, it is the f- fucking hardest thing in the world. I have n- like boxing is so much harder than I think any other sport I think it's much more yeah. the fitness is ridiculous I think way more than all of the other types of fighting but I remember doing it and like just being like this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me I'm so <laughs> fucked like afterwards it was like it was like a car crash were you okay getting punched no I was crying <laughs> <laughs> no. as yeah. you're as you're fighting <laughs> just after the fight <laughs> fighting the game we're both just crying <laughs> um, yeah I think so but I think I went down with such a defeatist attitude I think I went which is I think half the battle yeah. like I, I went on going oh I've lost I this fight she you. she was a rugby player and I was like well, she's an actual athlete she's yeah. much fitter than I am and she's she's gonna win so I went on with a defeatist attitude I suppose but I remember just being like this is the hardest thing in the world and also the thing is is that if, if you watch any footage of it like you know you, you think you look the part when you're training and when you're yeah. sparring and all but it's like almost like a choreographed dance and then you go into the ring and it's like every woman for themselves <laughs> and everyone's just like mm. everywhere. when you haven't trained for years like a couple of months isn't enough yeah. that when you go into the ring you don't just lose your shit and just start whacking things which is what happened and we looked ridiculous <laughs> I mean, it didn't look like a boxing fight. It didn't look like nobody was boxing. Yeah. It just looked like a scrap mm-hmm. um, that she won. So In your head, did you think, I look brilliant? No, no, no. no. Oh, I, okay. I knew I looked shit. Okay, okay. <laughs> I okay. was like, no, I, I, whenever I, we were training, I was like, I look, there was photographs, you know, they take like photographs in the train session. It's all, mm-hmm. I look like a fucking boxer. <laughs> yeah. I look great. And then you get into the ring and you're all, I look like, a 14 year old in school who's scrapping over a wee fella <laughs> that's what I look like <laughs> my hair's all pulled out and all uh-huh. it was brutal so I don't think I don't think I did what made it. you do it? Um, oh, the fame and the glory <laughs> it was, do you know what it was? it was actually Sean Sean was like the opportunity company. he was like let's, let's do this he did it as well he won his fight I don't know. Oh, so he has form. He's one and zero. So, he's, so yeah. he's one and zero. He's yes. He's secretly he, one and zero. Yeah, yeah. He's obnoxious. He's fighting under a false name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's fighting under Shane Todd. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I um. Would you not? Would you not be up for it, Jordan? Uh, I think I'm doing something with it. Oh, you are. That's right. Yeah, but yeah. medically, I don't think I could have fought at all. Okay. It's like me and William were kind of excluded from that. I yeah. think me and William would have made a good fight. Well, I think that would have been fair. Yeah, yeah, because height. We're the same. Yeah. And that's all you need in boxing, right? The same height. And yeah. then that's it. It's nothing to do with ability or anything no. like no, that. No, I know. I know. It's funny, isn't it? <laughs> I, but no, I don't know. I, I say that would probably be a good fight, but William probably still would have kicked the shit out of me. Look. I don't know. I think he might have been afraid to hurt his face. <laughs> when like... you were a kid, though, that's how you, they would have like, matched you. Just your height? Oh, yeah, just your height. He just would have grabbed it. No, hang on. That's why Paddy Barnes is so good, because he's fighting like six-year-olds the whole yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> so grabbed you height by height. And, oh, you're with the same height. Go ahead. So sly. Paddy's standing there with a tie on, right? <laughs> <laughs> Find some kid he hasn't got a pube. And, and <laughs> yeah. yeah so, uh, That's how we used to match up in school, but will you go with him? Will you go with her? <laughs> the same oh, height. Uh, then I would never have got a girlfriend. But I was... so. I was always tall, so I was taller than every boy in school. 
Like every when I was a when I was a teenager, I was always taller than all of the boys, which is like a disability. It was like say it, were, the worst. Yeah. No one wants to go with you. You're so tall. Gigantor in the corner, just standing yeah. there <laughs> on her own. Everyone's <laughs> lined up kissing. You're like, I'll tie me. <laughs> That's all I can do. I'll keep watch. I'll keep yeah, watch. yeah, I'll keep watching. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everyone in our school used to go and kiss on the top floor of the swimming baths. The swimming pool didn't have floors to it. It was like the leisure centre did. Uh, <laughs> we used to go, people go up to the top floor and kiss after swimming on a Friday. And I was like, someday that'll be me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? There's not a nook that people in your school used to go to. We were in all boys school, so... So was I, but after... <laughs> 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 there were there were other boys that lived in Derry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that we used to meet up <laughs> No. 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 Well, I went to I went to boarding school. Fuck off. Yeah, yeah. Did she? Yeah, yeah. Here. Yeah, yeah. Where? Methody. Is that still a boarding school? It's closed in two thousand ten. What ages were you in boarding school from and until? Two thousand and four, and I got expelled in like two thousand and eight. Why did you, Why did you get expelled? Because <laughs> I kept running away. <laughs> To where? <laughs> Home? Uh, yeah, to, well, trying to get to my granny's house. Um, because, like, my granny still lived here, and I had, like, other family members. Aye. But my dad was like, nah, just <laughs> just going to boarding school. Because they, they went off to Canada. Aye. And uh, they left me and my brother here. I feel like you need a hug. I know, I do. Jordan. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that is... So, very sad, but it's also very interesting. Tell me what more. is life in boarding school? Is, 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 <sighs> yes. it, it's not it's not Harry Potter. I was going to say, is yeah, it Hogwarts here? No, no. But like, uh, just where you were saying, like, um, about going to like, uh, like a place and stuff like that to yeah. make out and something like that. All we had was where we <laughs> used to pay like one of the sixth years to go get his like smokes and like yeah. beer and stuff like that. And we went up, there's like a bell tower kind of thing. And we had like loads of like, I don't know if they were like urban legends and stuff like that, but like rumors that uh, like, you know, it was haunted and all that kind of yes. stuff. And uh, all the boarders that had to stay there over the weekend just went up smoking and drank to their heart's content because the boarding master didn't really give a fuck. Well, uh, no. OK, they probably would if they knew what was happening, but yes. they were just like, ah, they're just Bit having lenient. fun. Yeah. So how does it work? Are you in a different building to sleep? Did no, you... no. It's uh, we were above the maths block. So it's... Um, uh, Methody is like a huge oh, of place. All the blocks. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, so you want to like be above a... Hitchy, we are awakened to the smell of bread being baked, uh, but not above yeah, yeah. Pythagoras' theorem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was like this huge, big place, and the girls' boarding uh, was on the other side in this place called MacArthur Hall, and that was where we all. It was like the mess hall where we all went and got food, and then this study hall was underneath. It was in the math block, and we had to stay there for like the. There was like three hours of study a night. So you get out of school, you get like maybe half an hour to an hour to yourself, uh, go get food, go do study. And then there's like sports hall. Hmm. And like that was the routine, Jeez. like through the week. And then on the weekend, you could just do whatever you want. Wank. Oh, it was Wank. the worst. <laughs> it was the worst. That's mad. Mm. I didn't know that world existed here. Mm. So, I, I still think there is some boarding. Like, I think because like that would have been two seconds ago. Because like you're, what age are you? 29. Yeah, you yeah. are younger than me. Yeah. That would have been like two seconds ago. Yeah, I, well. I went in, uh, yeah, first year in 2004. So when you got expelled, what, where'd you go? Uh, Simple High. My parents had to move back home. <laughs> oh, my God. oh my God. I think they were planning on it. Right. But this was like the final, it was the straw that broke the camel's back and was like, right, we'll move back home. Someone needs to look after him. <laughs> That's why. But, but the weirdest thing was my parents moved back home because I got expelled from boarding school. But my brother stayed on in boarding school. <laughs> oh, they were like, he's okay. <laughs> yeah, he's fine. We'll just continue to pay to keep him there. And we'll just bring Jordan home. Is it expensive? Uh, I don't I'm know. Sure I, I Like, my parents held it over me for a while. You're like, do you know how expensive this is? They chose to put you there. <laughs> exactly. I'm sure you weren't 11. Like, please, can I go yeah. be sent away? <laughs> I'm not going anywhere unless it's a grammar school, you yeah. know? Um, but yeah, so that was, that was fun times. So the boys and girls do. mix. Uh, in in school, yes, but not after in boarding or anything like that. Anybody get knocked up? There were some rumours, oh. but nothing substantiated. I think it has to be more than a rumour, because being knocked up... Oh, hurt. there's evidence. It, it, <laughs> uh, uh, there eventually is a child. <laughs> I've heard. <laughs> so I've been told, yeah. So it's like five years, the rumour is still, like, I get girl still pregnant. <laughs> She's been pregnant since she was 11. <laughs> That's the sort of shit that does go in school, isn't it? Yeah, but um, to say I liked it was probably a lie. Do, but you, I kinda... do, do you have friends now from boarding school? No. 
because you think that's such a life experience to go yeah. through that even if he didn't like it's like a real I'm sure there's nobody else you know who's went to boarding school Ian Thompson shut up that's one of the other comedians fighting yeah uh, so Ian is like one of my best friends and um, he, he was on the podcast there recently wasn't yeah. he yeah so we have a lot of synchronicities that complete that it's it's so weird so we went to the same boarding school. Like he's he's the guy that's forty four and a half. So uh, <laughs> it's weird that my best half <laughs> like in your top. That's how they do it in boarding school. They yeah. get a cake every six months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so uh, Ian went to the same boarding school I did. We lived in like two streets apart when he used to live over in Dunfermline. When I used to live in Dunfermline, yeah. two streets apart. Uh, when my dad passed away, our house got repossessed. <laughs> And the estate agent that sold the house was Ian. Fuck. Mm -hmm. And now I babysit his kids. <laughs> it's it's creepy, it, it, but it's it is, serendipitous. It's scary, it's scary it? how many... Babies like babysitting kids is creepy. Well, that is. <laughs> like, if I was they to, think it's creepy as well. Sorry. <laughs> if I was to hire a babysitter... There's other people I would choose. <laughs> I think Ian was just strapped for cash and needed someone to look after the kids, and I was yeah. there. So. You're, the you're the manny. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. But that is like the whole boarding school thing is is wild because you just don't know if anybody goes to boarding school. Like you don't know. Like do, at the weekends, you didn't leave to go anywhere. So I had. Like, like, could you still go? Out around the town <laughs> for twenty minutes at a time. <laughs> really? There is a place. Uh, it's where the centre is now, um, just beside the Fisherwick Church. Um, just on down from Methody, it used to be a convenience store called Simpsons, and we used to go there. Uh, like twenty, we had like twenty minutes to go out. We always went there um, after school and stuff like that. But I had like a part time job um, on like Saturdays. Do you remember Delaney's on Rosemary Street? It was on the no. corner just beside Fresh Garbage. I used to go in there and clean dishes. Um, oh yes, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. The wee diner. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah. I it's used Cafe Nero now. Or yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yes. yeah. That's the one. Uh, I used to go there for three hours shifts to clean dishes, and that was the only time I was allowed out because I had a job. So, but on the weekends you weren't even allowed to go far about. Nope. You had to go to the sports hall or the mess hall. Uh, we well, they had like a like a pool room and the Sky TV and stuff like that because it was Methody, so it's yeah. You know, but um. So you couldn't get out and get dating. No, no, no. You stay in a room of other people? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's like in first year. There was like Gryffindor. <laughs> <laughs> Slytherin. Um, there was like 14 other people in my first year. All boys all or boys bo and girls? Uh, uh, no, just all boys. Uh, bunk oh, beds. In your room? Yeah, bunk beds. Jeez. Oh, I bet you that's dank. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That smells like ass from oh, yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and like, I can smell uh, that ass from the past. <laughs> <laughs> it's dank. Uh, and at that age, nobody cares about their personal hygiene or anything uh, like that. No, so of course It was almost not. a sign, like, <laughs> a sign of dominance, The this person that stunk the most, like. Oh, really? Uh, well, uh, I don't Sounds know. Sounds like the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just dominance. Yeah. Bell's pissed in the corner. <laughs> That's essentially what No one come over here. Yeah. I've marked my territory. Don't mess with him. He's a cat He just come over and fucking knock you uh, out of his pong. <laughs> John's sitting on, on fucking Connor's head, picking out fucking... But, but picking was, the nuts out. Uh, it was so weird, like, because growing up in that kind of thing, um, the normal, like, I was super into wrestling at that time, and so was, like, everybody else. So yeah. we would... Would like we would watch like Monday Night Raw and then afterwards when it was like lights out we would go like Wrestle. right we're going to recreate everything we've seen here the, I feel like the last thing that group needs is to was... get sweatier <laughs> <laughs> and just run together and rub yeah, each yeah, other yeah. in the middle of the night dark wrestling uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's either laughs> but genuinely there was a there was a like three week period after I can't remember what like pay-per-view wrestling thing it was but it ended up with three of the boarders having broken collarbones <laughs> from just wrestling after the watching the it the teachers stay there so they weren't teachers. They they were just guys. No, uh, um, uh, they... Prison guards? Uh, the, Imagine you thought of as boarding school, but you really were just in, like, juvie or whatever. You could, it's like you were just being dumb. Um, there was people who had, like, different jobs outside of school. Uh, and then there were some teachers from other schools that were... It was essentially, like, a job, just looking after these people. You're staying over and boarding and making sure they go to bed on time and they wake up on time. And do they stay awake all night? Like, night shift? Um, the ma I, I think the matron did. I can't really remember. We had two matrons as well. They were lovely. I love that somebody is actually their job is actual matron. Mm -hmm. Oh, like well, we we weren't allowed to, we weren't allowed to call them names or any. They're like no, uh, you're not, not allowed to do that anyway. <laughs> no, but we couldn't call them by their name. We had to call them matron. 
Oh, ah, you couldn't yeah. call them by the. Well, I suppose in school, you know, they call your teachers by their real True, names. True, but we also got detention uh, for like if we fucked around or anything like that in boarding school, we would have like detention at the weekends and stuff like that. But it, you're already in detention. I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's, detention. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically like you had to stay in one room and you weren't allowed to play like pool or anything like that or watch TV. Room on your own. Mm-hmm. That's probably bliss. That's what, 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 brilliant. Like 14 other fellas all <laughs> in the you corner. Were always trying to get in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Solitary shit. Time. Solitary confirmed. <laughs> this is Julie. <Julie's. laughs> I know. I know. I know. That's what I always think about. Like, do you know? Whenever you fly, like you go to an airport and you feel like your what? flight gets delayed. What did you say? When you go to fly. I. Why did the E? Fly, fly. Keep going. Oh, right, okay. From Jerry. Fly E. Fly B. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone boss. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, um, yeah, when, you go to, when you go to an airport and you go to fly and like the, you know, get your flight gets delayed by like a certain amount of hours and you're like, oh, you're going to hear, oh God, I'm stuck in the airport on my own with nothing to do. And then you're like early 20s or when you're a child, you're all, what a fucking ball ache. But when you're a parent and you're busy and you get told your flight's delayed by six hours and you have to sit in the airport on your own, you're like, this is bliss. This is the spa day. <laughs> I'm going to sit here and not listen to any kids. And not have anything. I'm going to be on my own for like five or six hours. That's unreal. That's the same sort of thing. We're like, well, you actually just want to yeah, <laughs> you yeah. get just stuck a by wee yourself. time out. Yeah, that sounds nice. I cannot believe I didn't know that about you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is so interesting. Thank you. I mean, we but horrific. Oh, yeah, no, 100%. I have a lot of trauma from it. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. God, yeah, you would, wouldn't you? Mm. Do you not talk about it on stage? I used to. It's old material, though. Um, the the joke was um, I went to boarding school uh, and not many people actually know this but the term boarding school actually comes from the Latin word consensus schooler which uh, roughly translates into English as my parents didn't love me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I missed that I might oh, actually so bring dark. that back no you should because I think that's great that's great yeah. I mean very sad <laughs> great, but great um, do you have a normal school experience I assume ah uh-huh, brilliant uh, yeah yeah fantastic. great time did you like school no I'm sorry, right, Ty. Were you good in school? I was quiet. But I mean, oh, you were well behaved? I would say yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Were all your brothers well behaved in school? No, no, two of them weren't. Where are you? In the, in I'm like, the oldest. Oh, you're the oldest? I'm the oldest. Oh, do you know I always find the oldest, though, is like, ends up being like the sort of nicer, quieter one because the younger ones come along and they're like, fuck. <sighs> And they have to just like learn to like, because I remember when Sean, Sean has three, had three sons before I met him. And I remember the two youngest ones had, had a hand each. You know, when the oldest one, he was like seven or eight at the time, but he was like, he, there was no hand for mm. him to hold. You know, for Sean was holding the two younger ones. And I was like, he's learned, he's he has to learn to, to be like quite independent and grown oh, yeah. up from quite young. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Whereas I was the youngest in my house. So I still getting baby have a dodo <laughs> <laughs> I'm the, yeah I'm the exact same and that's probably why I do stand up just for the attention yes you're the what? youngest as yeah, well youngest you need yeah the but it was weird um, my, my brother is only like 13 months older than me yeah so my, different parents <laughs> <laughs> my, my mum said that my brother was not planned but I was because my mum didn't want to go back to work <laughs> Oh, oh, my maternity was all wanted another maternity oh, leave, so that's nice to be wanted, you know? Yeah, yeah I can really understand why this guy's been in the comedy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's real, real. But it's one of those things where you're like, i got to make money out of my trauma <laughs> or, I'm, yeah. or I'm going to be really sad. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But it was like whenever I was doing IVF to have winter, I was like just writing notes about it constantly because I was like, I'm going to make this money back. I'm going to make this work for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to turn this on on them. <laughs> Make it funny and write stuff about this, and then I, I've written a show about it that will be out next year. And I was like, "That's that's the aim of the game. Write about your trauma, make it funny, sweep it under the carpet, and don't deal with it." <laughs> and the, let everyone else laugh at it. Yeah, that's the best way to do. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And um, you have so you look after two, Ian's mm-hmm. Ian's two kids. Is it a boy and a girl? Boy and a girl, and uh, uh, they're I don't remember what age they are. They're like thirteen or something. They're just, yeah. they're younger than you. What well, one One's in grammar school and one is in P7 at the minute. So okay. They're old enough to use a microwave. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I don't have to. Do. Don't. All I have to do is Although, drive. That's all I have to do. With them in the car? Wait, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to places? <laughs> yeah. Pick them up from school and they do everything else. Yeah. They're great kids. Great kids. That's great when they get that age, but yours are all way. You said you have three under five. Aye. Aye. That's a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Do you want a wee nap? <laughs> well, well. I do the school runs as well, do, do all that. Do you? Uh. Um, and I suppose, like, when you're when you're boxing and travelling a lot too, yeah. like you have been, um, 
a lot of people put like starting families on the back burner. Well, at the at my last faith, yeah, was Tracy just was before, dark, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was just well, that's I mean that's perfect timing, yeah, because yeah, it's quite. Because I remember when your brother was on the podcast, he was saying like he would miss a lot of stuff. Like he still do. Like, I didn't think it was going to be as busy as a boxing match. Yeah, grow to yeah. What, what it's what it's went. Yeah. But um, I remember saying, like, the Tracy, like, that's, like cause I would have lived in Spain for yeah. nine months of the year. Aye. Then we were in Glasgow for that. So it wasn't even around. Yeah. And then. I'm so like, really not. Who owns that baby? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it was thing. So we, we had just bought our first house. Well, we were renting the house. Then we just bought our first house. Yeah. And we were having our first baby. And I was like, I'd said to her, win, lose, or draw in this fight. Like, I'm done, you know. We're yeah. okay, like you know, we're yeah, not, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll figure out what's going to happen after this. But I yeah. I couldn't be away no more. Yeah. And then, then we just kept knocking them out after that. <laughs> we never got a TV on. It just became crazy. <laughs> like. it's a good old Catholic family. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Knocking Isn't it? Out. And it's all been like n- n- no one's been like Jordan here. No one's been planned. It's been <laughs> you know, fire them off. To uh, as you just say. <laughs> but I uh, three girls, when? five, four, and. Oh, sorry, five, four, four, three, and one. And all girls done? I live by the sword, die by the sword, so oh, I right. just never know. Like, you know, <laughs> you know. just don't know. <laughs> you just flick it up in the air and see what happens. But well, that's how we do it in our house. <laughs> <laughs> flick it up in the air and see what happens. <laughs> but it's, 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 it's a big shock. The third one's a big shock. Yeah. Um, we had just got a, a second house and we had no furniture, nothing in the kitchen, nothing in the living room. We were only in about a week. Mm. Uh, I'm just waiting on Satie and all the kind of... And I just remember playing on the floor with the two kids and Tracy said, I don't know, and we're laughing about it. Hi. You look hard I know what, I'll go. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I praise you, bet you are. And then I just remember turning around there, she's standing and I'm like... <laughs> oh. I was like, what? And then I was like, I'm going, fuck it. <laughs> do you ever see people online who do reveals to their partner that they're pregnant, but they like have a baby scan and like a wee baby grown roll and you're like, you waited three <laughs> months to tell your partner that you're Scurry, pregnant? Like, like, how do you walk around the house going, <laughs> in 10 weeks, I'm going to tell him? It's I, fucking mad. Well, obviously, for obvious reasons, I couldn't do that because like, if I buy someone a present, they know like instantly I can't hold my shit like whatsoever. Do you mean you can't hold it because you're yeah, shit? <laughs> <laughs> Jordan is parking. <laughs> oh, do you? Okay, and I, just I, made I, I, I thought like you were saying you just don't get up early, so I thought it was no, 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 no. And I just made a really rude joke about it, saying he can't hold his presents. <laughs> no, it's I just like seeing people happy. Oh yeah. Oh, you just want to give them their presents as soon exactly, as exactly. You... Yeah, I can't do that. Like that's why I have to leave all my like Christmas and birthday like presents Shop the last minute. to the last second, or I will just have to buy start. Them again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's the I worst. do that too. Sean's like that. Like I was planning Sean, a trip for Sean's fortieth, which is in December. And because I was so like pat on the back, delighted with myself that I was organising a trip for him, and I was like so selfless, mm. I told him about it straight away. <laughs> and, it, and then, and then, do you know what his response was? He was actually on the podcast last week, and I did say this, but he was all to me. My birthday's in March, and he goes to me, um, "What will I get myself for your birthday?" And I was all, "What do you mean?" He goes, "Well, you've organised a trip." For mine, and you're also going on it. Uh, so <laughs> it's like you cheeky bastard. <laughs> like you'd rather he'd rather just go on and go by himself, child free, and have a great time. It's like you cheeky bastard. No, Tracy done something like that. We, my thirtieth, booked New York. Mm-hmm. Came, I like New York, and it's us New York. And I said, fuck okay. But thing is, like I just got the flights. You know, would, you know, Will you book the accommodation? Book the accommodation. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's like yeah. what I'm by myself no, this present in? I love when someone's like, here, happy birthday. Um, Can you pay like a grand towards this thing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but unreal, like, great, great trip. But um, um, Have you been to New York fighting? I never thought Mick has. Have you been for work though? Yeah, uh, yeah. loads, loads. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a different experience if you're going to, because I've been for work and for, yeah. for like tourism. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 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 As a, as a tourist. That's a holiday. Yeah. Yeah. As a holiday, that's what you're called in your holiday, isn't it? <laughs> and it's obviously a completely different experience. I even think that about London. If you go for like a work thing, it can be very grim. Like it can be really, but if you go and you're there like a tourist, you're like, this is the best city in the world. Like you're. That's like everything though. You have the same. It's your, it's your. Taking the hat off and you're. Yeah. Around your outlook like on it. Yeah. Um, so you just went to New York for your 30th. Aye. Sean and I went for the start of our honeymoon and then went on to do a cruise but whenever I was in do you know the red steps that you can sit on on Times Square yeah. mm-hmm. like by Perspex sort of steps oh no this is when I was over doing a show so sat sat on the steps with the girl who wrote the show and we were chatting away and this man came over and was all um, 
he was from I think he was Texan or something he was all like where he was like where are you from and all and I was like well from like from Ireland mm-hmm. and it turns out he goes he, his sister lived in Craig Avon where I lived and he used to go to the church that was the bottom of my street and it was this fucking big black guy from Texas <laughs> and I was like how mental that I met on the Parish Beck Squares in Times Square or, and I was like how how you can go nowhere. Yeah. Like with this accent, and then people just go, I know someone <laughs> who has that accent. It's the same thing, the exact same thing happened to me. My dad was a huge rugby fan, and he took us to New Zealand for the British and Irish Lions tour in mm-hmm. 2005. Uh, and we were at, uh, I think it was in Auckland uh, for the, the match against the All Blacks. And there was this guy that was sat maybe like two rows in front of us that kept like turning around and looking at my dad. And then it was like half time and they went to get like a beer or something like that at mm. the refreshment stand. And they go like, you live in Samfield? <laughs> and apparently the guy was like literally, he owned the Maxall no. <laughs> in Samfield that we always used to go to get petrol from. <laughs> like how, like it's the smallest wee country and you and go and there are people that were everywhere. The other side of the world. <laughs> we love to spread our seed. <laughs> Like we are <laughs> everywhere. I remember the Dairy Journal one Christmas. The front picture of it, like on Christmas week or maybe like Boxing Day, whatever it was, was like was like thirty eight dairy people on the beach in Melbourne, <laughs> all men to have dinner. And I was like, what the fuck? All there for uh, separate reasons. I was like, that is uh, that is uh, like the epitome of here. It's like yeah. we'll go away somewhere, but we're like, where's the Irish bar and uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, where yeah. are the other Irish where's people? The other Irish people? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, have you have you done much traveling then? Ah, yeah, for work as well. Yeah, yeah. Where's your favorite place you've been? I think New York it probably is. Yeah. Because yeah. it has a bit, every time you go, it's a different look. Yeah. And they it, paint it. Yeah. <laughs> they, they clean it something. You open a different door and you walk <laughs> into a different room. Yeah, you walk in that door and walk in another. Brisbane yeah. was good as well in, in Australia. When yeah. Brisbane was, was very good. Have not been. Um, fucking trying to think. Have you been to Australia? Have uh, you New Zealand? Yeah. No, no, I, I, I used to live in Australia as well. Did you? I've been all Board over the shop. No, no, but we're, yeah, it was a cultural exchange they program. Out, yeah, they let us out one Saturday and we went to Brisbane. <laughs> I used to live in a place called like Surfer's Paradise. Yeah, 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 yeah. on the Gold Coast. The um, Gold Coast, that's beside Brisbane. Uh-huh, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, and it's kind of like the Magaluf of Australia. Right. Because whenever uh, somebody like finishes like university, they go to Surfer's Paradise and it's like a fucking party town. Yeah. For thing. Aussies? Like for people in Australia, it's oh, like, oh yeah, 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 where they finish, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they go, yeah. that's where they go. Mm-hmm. And uh, I worked in an Irish bar car- called Fiddler's Green. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was fun. Lived in a hostel. It was great. What were we there for? Uh, like two months and thing. But then I was I was in Melbourne and then I went up to Rockhampton. So uh, all in all, it was about a year, but uh, only a couple of months in were you Goldberg. fresh out of boarding school or were you much older? No, much older. Okay. Was, this was like 2015. It wasn't like a rebellious act? No. Did no, I? No, no, it was that. I love that you went from sleeping with 14 different other students in a boarding school to like staying in a hostel and sleeping with like 14 other I foreigners. cannot sleep unless there is at least I... another 13 people snoring <laughs> beside me. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way I can get a good night's sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do you play white noise for babies. You're just playing, <laughs> snoring, various men snoring. <laughs> um, when, when you were boxing? Yeah. And like amateur boxing? Yeah. You, you toured the world. It was, it's the best thing yeah. about amateur boxing. Mm-hmm. You see various different places. Mm-hmm. We went one time to to Hinkley, uh, Minnesota. Oh, right. Oh, Insane sure. place. Just middle of nowhere, Hickville. Oh, really? We all thought, in our way, tracks, let's go walk. I um, think Fram was with us and Patty, maybe. Went out anyway, walking snow up to here. No, everyone giving this. People coming out of their yards with guns and stuff because they were... Because you're, you. oh, you're not, no yeah. one goes to walk. Um, but there was just, <laughs> there was a big casino just in the middle of nowhere. Oh my God. You got shot because nobody goes to walk. <laughs> no one goes to walk in the cold and we were all thinking, let's go. Um, and then the boxing was finished. We should have realised from the, the, the week that we were there that this place is like like a different breed, you know, they're, they're, yeah, they're a bit yeah, different yeah, than, yeah. than what we're expecting. But anyway, we went out to like this hick bar after and it was all the uh, you know, lane dancing and stuff like this. Yeah. <clears throat> I won't name the boxer, but the rest of us, came, he just went off and was dancing with his, he's tiny, smaller than me. Not Paddy Barnes. I was going to say, he's Paddy Barnes. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving not, away. Not, not Barnes. He's from down south. <laughs> yeah. Smaller than me, big girl, bigger than you, taller yeah. ways, but bigger. And she had these big massive boobs. He just had his head buried in her boobs. No dancing <laughs> like that the whole night. We fuck off, shooting the fucked off. Um... 
we were leaving the next morning they got up and there's still no sign of them he's fucking lost in no, our tits no, <laughs> <laughs> no sign of and um, he just randomly comes in fucking blood all over him cut whatever I says you got we, we have to go up and get your bags you, you, you have to go we have to, we're fucking yeah. we have to get our flight and everything comes back down he'd got uh, her and a fella kidnapped him in a, in a trailer in the middle of nowhere in Minnesota <laughs> no. Um, they were bringing him somewhere that he doesn't know he has no clue he knocked out the bird and jumped out the side <laughs> door <laughs> right climbed over a barbed wire fence the guys are chasing the boat they're, the fella's chasing him finds himself a barn no. falls asleep in the hay in the barn wakes up to a shotgun on his face from the the guy who owns the barn <laughs> says Is this get the fuck out of my barn like <laughs> yeah. yeah like how traveller you- guy from down south Fucking best story I've ever heard. In two near death situations <laughs> uh, one night. Uh, he had no clue what was going on. He How had no clue. How did he knock her out? He just hit Jack. Ja- here he's, he was going to fight Paddy Barnes in some white collar thing exhibition yeah. charity, and I yeah. told Paddy, "Please don't. This is he'll kill you. I'll kill you. <laughs> yeah. But for um, fun. yeah, it was it was what a trip. That is wild. But like the, every trip, there's a kind of similar story. A mad story. A mad story. But but that. Nearly says name, but that was on there, <laughs> and I think that's the best one. Yeah. In terms of you're saying like best places to go. Oh my god. Pinkley, Minnesota. <laughs> Don't go there. It's a terrible place to go, but had a great story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And just the way he he had come in and told it, no tears in his eyes. He's ble- bleeding, bloody nose, coat, freezing, purple coat. <laughs> While we're all but sitting you know, laughing at him, saying, get your bag. But you know, whenever someone comes in and starts talking, it's sort of getting your all, no one believes you, he's up on it. But he's obviously the sort of guy no, who comes yeah, in you and goes, oh, man. this did happen. <laughs> <laughs> he and did punch a bird. And seen the way he was, and he was like, no, like lay, holding her hands and just going like, <laughs> we're all laughing. I had, and I was telling, so I was telling the story last week in London to someone. And I was saying, like, I remember having a photo on my phone and all of him dancing, like, with the girl and stuff like this. But it's an old phone. But imagine if he never returned, right? (laughs) And, like, that would have been safer for you continuing on your trip. (laughs) 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 But also, like, you'd have had that photograph. It would have been, like, an episode of Taken. Oh, yeah, yeah. That would have been the first clue to lead you. That's very exciting. I want to be there. Just I want him to stay with the woman and then get taken off to where he's going. Then we can try and find him. But maybe they were taking him to the circus because he was so wee. Like maybe they were, maybe they were he's like, wee, has gonna big pit him massive hands, like two hands the size of one, but he's small and he's like got these big long arms. They as were well. gonna put him in a glass case uh, and get people to pay to come and see he's him. Ginger, even better. Yeah, <laughs> now you can charge more. <laughs> yeah, now people will pay yeah. to slap him. <laughs> he has no soul. Gingers have no souls. No. no offense. That um, is, that is but, uh, wild. There's a casino in Hinkley, Minnesota, and they're all around it. There's nothing else. Not it's mad because like you think like none of that shit happens in real life or doesn't happen to us do you know like, like yeah. on your on your front doorstep or whatever but shit like that happens to people yeah. like do you ever like you have a friend who just always finds himself in an absolute fucking mess mm-hmm. you know yeah. or turns up upon them like I remember the first this isn't <laughs> sort of relevant but the first I used to take seizures all the time but we, know, we couldn't figure out why fun um, how did it stop it just, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Two years clean. <laughs> every now and then one will just pop up. Like I had one about, in the pandemic was the last one. But they just sort of, every now and then I just have a seizure and everyone's like, oh, jeepers, <laughs> there's another one. We don't know why. I've had loads of brain scans and all, they're like, she's fine. Yeah. Imagine I was letting on. <laughs> That's what I've been with the ET as well. Yeah. Just in real awkward situations, I'm all, oh fuck. <laughs> just like throw a seizure out. <laughs> Something just gets too awkward for me. I just do a seizure. <laughs> I'm ringing ambulance. <laughs> but um, I remember the first time I took a seizure, and this is probably representative of how much an attention seeker I must have been as a teenager, because I took a seizure when I was at my boyfriend at the house, at his house, the, my, my boyfriend at the time, and I like whacked my face on the sink in his bathroom and like split my face open and all. And it was the week before Halloween, which worked out well because I was dressed up as Tarzan's wife Jane for Halloween and I had a scar on my face which was worked out well I didn't have to put a fake one on because I had real wounds <laughs> but when I came home to my man dad, I was like I've taken a seizure tonight like a proper seizure should have went to hospital but everyone was like what's happening send her home oh yeah and my man and dad were like no you haven't <laughs> they were gaslighting you into thinking you didn't have a seizure I all, oh no I remember coming around like a definite on my face and they were all you didn't and I was like 
okay, I think I need to go to hospital. And then they sent me to boarding school. No. Um, no. About three months later, I had another one in school, like during class, and they rang my ma in an ambulance, and that's my ma. And I was never smug. I was the smuggest bitch in that school. My ma coming in, and I was like, well, well, well. What's all this then? Who's the epileptic now? <laughs> my ma was like, you did take a seizure that time. I'm very sorry. <laughs> my ma, I had broken arm for a week, and my ma and dad didn't believe me. No. Yeah. How did you break it fighting? No, I was uh, it was raining. Punching some bird out in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> I slipped in the pla- in the Dunville Park, fell off the monkey bars and, and broke my arm. But I was not allowed in the Dunville Park. Oh. So I couldn't say I was in the Dunville Park. So I made up a lie. Yes. And they knew I was lying. So and the I whole just, thing was a lie then? I was going like, my, my fucking head, my, my arm is broken. <laughs> Arms in the shape of a dumpy. Like, <laughs> week. And then they finally believed me and I remember... I walked in the yeah. room. Look at me now, Dad. Look at me now. <laughs> my, my arms hanging on. <laughs> I don't care. But that's what I mean. Like how you smug as a child. You're all. You're in so much pain. Your arms broken in nine places, and you're all. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> I even remember shaving my legs for the first time years before I was allowed to. And this will this will happen to you with the, your girls too, where they'll be like, they'll be like strange things that you don't think about, but they'll come a time where they'll want to shave their legs, and you won't let them because they're too young, <laughs> even though they're hairy. Mary's, yeah. you know what I mean? And I remember not knowing what to do because it was too. I was only about nine or ten. Yes, I had hair legs, nine or ten, right? Whatever, get over it. Um, and I got like a disposable, like big razor, and like shaved a patch of my leg. Didn't know to use water or shaving foam or anything. Oh my god! Now that, that even thinking about it, and I cleaned the razor blade with my thumb. Aye. I like slid it along the razor blade to get rid of the hair, and I was all. <gasps> And I was like, I can't scream or anything. My man and dad are downstairs and they'll know I'm trying to shave my legs. They've obviously told me I'm not allowed to shave my legs yet. And I went down to my brother and I was all, oh, oh, what am I going to do? Fucking fungs hanging off and I've been shaving my legs. And me and him concocted the story that I had been, do you know where you have like a cork pin board? Mm-hmm. And he was like, say that you were trying to put a pin into the pin board, but you had it the wrong way around and you stuck it into your thumb and then you were like jiggling it about and the whole thing ripped open. So I downstairs to this whole thing going, there's it in the pin board. I just need stitches. I'm not well. But like your, your man dad can fucking see through it. Like, yeah, they're like, you're a lying bastard. This is just like that seizure time, is it? I? <laughs> or the <epileptic>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But uh, my man and dad, like my daddy, whenever I was growing up, used to tell me, as we were saying about earlier on, like lies your parents tell you. My daddy used to tell me that he wrote all the songs on the radio. So if a song would come on, my dad would be like, that's another one of mine. And I would go into school and be like, my dad would that. If they were like, up town girl, I'd be like, it's my dad's. And they'd be like, why do you not have a car then? <laughs> <laughs> like, we're just being humble, right? But like, my dad was like, convinced me for years. I think it was, so it was about 10 or 11 or 12 and I started to go, do you really know Louis Walsh? <laughs> <laughs> How close are you to Billy Joel? Come on, yeah, tell yeah, the truth. Yeah. <laughs> was it really between you and Brian McFadden for myself? I don't think it was. <laughs> I feel like he's lying to me. <laughs> um, so are you, when you came to the end of your like actual fighting career, you knew that was like the best decision. And then you've, and obviously your brother's still fighting. Do you sometimes be like, oh, I'd love to still be fighting? Oh, no, or no, you're no, like, I'm done, no. out, yeah. Like it, it's never <clears throat> crossed my mind. I haven't, no. I haven't put on a pair of, like I haven't put a pair of gloves on the punch them. I have a bag and I have a gym in the house. Like, yeah. But no, I haven't got hit in the head or punched in the nose since. Like, I mean, isn't that lovely? Ah, fantastic. <clears throat> not being hit. Fantastic. Some days it's not. No, like some days you'd prefer because... Then... <laughs> you're you're talking, like, a lot of things you're doing. This side is a lot more... Uh, Stressful and strenuous on on yeah 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 like dealing with people yeah well you're in charge as uh, well so it's a lot to manage like you're it's a lot easier and... just to go I'm gonna punch you yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then you just punch him. Dance monkey dance. <laughs> oh, that you know, right? so, but, yeah. but on the other side of it is uh, yeah, the puppet master. So you have yeah. to kind of... <clears throat> it's a lot more work. A lot more work. <clears throat> but it's enjoyed. But I, like, I really enjoyed it. I've always enjoyed it. Even when, it was, uh, when yeah. I was actually fighting, I would have... So you knew that would be potentially what no, your No, I had zero would. clue. Oh, really? I had zero clue. Uh, um, it's, just ha- it's just happened then. I kind of... I had a feeling like like, like with Michael, I was yeah. always going to kind of... And we were, all, we were... I would have t- told him I had like relay different things on them that was going through my life and my career and what yeah. way to do it and what way not to do it because see isn't that great to have uh, somebody who's done it already and then you can get you can well, live through their that's experience that's the firstborn yeah. you know, like that's like yeah. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. You don't make the same mistakes for the second uh-huh. child. <laughs> no, I know. That's why the firstborn's able, not holding the hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, she's yeah. Fail, he's failed, whatever, so you go on. But uh, it was good. It was... Yeah. It, it was. It, Did you enjoy being hit? Weirdly enough, you do. Not enjoyed, but you just become accustomed to it. Your body becomes used to it. Yeah. Like, do you... Yeah, like, in the, in the like when you're in a like camp and stuff and you're, like, getting ready to fight, do you be like, I can't wait just to get... No, it? no, I don't, I don't think like that, but I... Have no fear to it. Oh, being sense. hit. Aye. Well, then you're. I think that's maybe because you're desensitized to it because you've been Aye. hit so much that it's like, well, that's just a, that's your job. Like yeah. that's part of this is normal. Yeah. But Sean came back to me from one of his sparring sessions one day. And he was all for this comedian's boxing match, and he was like, "I think I really like being hit." <laughs> and I was like, "You need a therapist." Aye, there's something. Else. There's a Netflix documentary waiting <laughs> on this scale. Like, yeah, he's always all, all just fucking. And I was like, "I think it's because you're dead inside." <laughs> Or finally going to feel yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, like it's great getting punched. And I was like, you need to, you've so many kids and a wife. You need to rethink where you're like, you know, where your happiness is lying at the moment because it's lying and being fucking <laughs> decked in the cheek. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a weird one. Like. Um, so you, with with Michael fighting, you don't like watch him going, oh, that would be, you're no. just like, that's the uh, next chapter. I'd be... <clears throat> I'd be ten times worse in terms of nerves and feeling. Do you? Uh, Aye. I'd prefer to be actually the one. It's like you can control the controllables. You're yeah. the one actually fighting. He's ten times better than I am, but it's out of my control. Yeah. You always want to be in control, especially being an older brother. Yeah. And and making sure everything is okay. But um, sitting outside and being helpless is, oh, it's terrible. So when, when, when Michael was on this podcast, mm-hmm. I said to him. I used to live beside your brother's mural in West Belfast. As I used to live like on the road that it's painted on. As I live beside Jamie's mural. And he was like, that's my mural. <laughs> and I was like, oh, fuck, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That, I lived there for like three years and the whole time I thought it was you. It says it's, it's fucking, fucking name on it. <laughs> <laughs> and then the press went wild about it. There was one article in Dublin. It was like, yeah. podcaster. <laughs> Slam. Serious, sir? <laughs> oh, I, there was an article in, in Dublin. I think somebody sent me it. I think I might have sent it to your brother then and he already had seen it. That it was like, fucking rude podcaster. <laughs> 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 Confuses the Colin brothers. And it was just, I was like... I don't know why I thought it was you the whole time. The whole time. His, his name's on it, so you walk past yeah. it every day going to work. It doesn't look it's like, like him. Jamie. It doesn't look like him either. No, it doesn't, no. <laughs> it was, what, 20 years? 10 years ago? Yeah, yeah, at least 10, 10 years, ago. years ago. Yeah, yeah. And it's still there. Is it still, still there? It's still there, right? Wonder who they'll paint over it with. <laughs> From County Street? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, don't give the address away. Well, I don't live there now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you actually lived in Camden Street? I, I lived there we for a couple of years. Well, we were born, we lived there. I know, yeah. I know. Well, that's why it's painted there, isn't it? No, it... The, the, the guy who owned that house, he oh. painted it. Well, actually, he lived next door to it. He was a, he's a painter. Oh, right. There's a lot of the, the murals up and down the falls. So, um, oh. Mick and his son were good friends. Um, he used to run about in the same area and all that stuff. And then it's, he done it off his own battle like, while, his, while Michael was in London. His son must be so, like, do I have say, like, you're drawing a mural of my mate and not me. <laughs> you're like... Was have I not made you proud? Like, <laughs> me. Are you not proud of my accounting career, father? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, draw me up there with a with a fucking filing cabinet, please. He was in Jordan's class in boarding school. <laughs> yeah. um, right, we'll do your remember when moments because we need to finish up soon. So, cool. um, Jordan, what okay. is your remember when moment? So, uh, I... Oh, you actually have to come up with a moment. I thought you were just going to make one up. Oh, we say? Yeah. <laughs> we'll go with the flow here. So, <laughs> <coughs> all I said to you was, please don't say 9-11. <laughs> oh, okay. All of your boxing counterparts <laughs> say 9-11 when they come on here. They always go, remember 9-11? I'd be like, yeah, that's the end of that. <laughs> yeah. Or who was it said about Princess Diana dying? I don't know. Somebody might have been Patty Barnes or something, but they, yeah. They love a good tragedy. <laughs> so anyway, do you remember 9-11? <laughs> no, um, so this was back in 2000. Uh, it was when they had just made the Odyssey and the yeah. Giants had their first ever home game at the Odyssey Arena. And this was the like 2nd of December, 2000. Uh, we all went as a family because mm-hmm. uh, my family is like obsessed with sport. And ice hockey is like probably one of the main ones um, that my dad really likes. So we all That's went there. That's why they went to Canada. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so we go to the game uh, and a puck flies out and my brother gets it. Oh my God. And I'm, what, what age? I'm seven at this point and I see my brother get it. 
and I am livid. I start bawling out, uh, like just completely crying. And it was at the end of the game. And one of the players, because we were we were sat just as the players were going back into the changing rooms, mm -hmm. the player sees me absolutely crying my lamps out, like, and he goes onto the ice and picks <clears> up the puck that <gasps> they were using, and comes up and gives it to me. And from that point on, Aww. I've been going like I had a season ticket for like some like seven years, like back to back. And I was like, right, from that point on, I was obsessed with it. Yeah. The next home game was supposed to be on the 13th of December and it got cancelled because Bill Clinton was in Belfast Bastard. and he was using the Odyssey as a, like a speech or something His like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And from that point on, I have uh, no longer been able to forgive Bill Clinton. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of things that's that the only, he's unforgivable that's for. The, that's the only thing that I can forgive him for. <laughs> <laughs> we have a puck in our house from the Belfast Giants. Oh, yeah? Um, I don't know how we got it, but we it was at a game anyway, but I don't mm -hmm. think anyone caught it, but I think there might have been a thing where you could go on to the... Ice and yeah, yeah, they, 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 they've. I think they they're still doing that. Like after the games, you can like skate around with the Giants and stuff like right. that, right? Which is pretty cool. I have zero interest in ice hockey, mm -hmm. but have you ever been to ice hockey? Yes. It's so fun. Yeah. It's a show. It's like a piece of theater. Mm. They're all like battering each other, and then they all go put into the sin bin, mm -hmm. yeah. and then yeah. they yeah. just like see the noise of them slamming against the side of it. Like it's fun to be at, and then you want to win a subway. Choo -choo. Yeah, you want to get a subway out of the yeah. subway? They do that here. Yes. Yeah. So they actually subway shoot sandwich. it with the, the, the US. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So they hold a big subway gun and they be like, and shoot so full footlongs under the audience. It's the best. Uh, We've definitely got subways before. Oh, I, I have been going, what, for like 22 years. Never got anything. Uh, and they then they go down the aisles. They give away tickets to W Five. The cinema. Yeah, the cinema. When it existed. Cookies and stuff like that. It's, I have it's, never it's won back anything back. like that. The cinema's big. The no, uh, but the movie house cinema is closed. Oh, it's. Uh, I thought it's uh, Cineworld now. Cineworld. Oh. it's massive. Oh, right. It's huge, yeah. yeah. It's oh, massive. Is it? And they do the 4D cinema thing there. Yeah. Is that where like, the water comes out? The water comes out. The the the. The seat shake, yeah. Uh, but to be fair, every seat that I sit in shakes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a <laughs> uh, But no, it's great. Yeah. So that that's my remember when. Yeah. Remember when I <laughs> have a vendetta against Bill Clinton. Oh right. Well, that took a turn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the, the, the I love the, how they make it. I have no idea following who's winning, what's happening. But mm -hmm. and then all the cheerleaders and all. That's a thing. The Yanks do ten these better. Oh yeah. It's, oh, a, it's sure. a proper spectacle, yeah. like with them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a full show. Mm. It's a night out. It's not yeah. just like you could go to ice hockey and not give a shit about the actual sport. Uh -huh. And like still have a great like, time. I'm yeah. still having a great time. This is, like, they're catering for everyone. Mm. Yeah, who likes Subway? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who like turkey and ham? <laughs> yeah. They've got it covered. Like. It. But we used to sometimes get invited into one of the media boxes when we oh. would go, and then because we knew O'Keefe. Or what do you call The him? coach. Adam Keefe, yeah. Adam Keefe. Adam okay, Keefe. God. We had been friendly with him and we'd mm. done some stuff with him before. So we'd get, we would get up to the media box where they would where you get subways up there before oh. you didn't even have to catch them. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a lottery anymore. We you just go got to them. Madison Square Garden in New York. No, yeah. you're taking the piss. <laughs> they gave us, uh, for the New York Knicks, yeah. the basketball. Fuck. Like we sit next to the, on the press row. But then on, they go 10 times better. See your, oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Ten See when you go in, they, you go for something neat. Yeah. It's like yeah. Ah, food court. Ah, no, it's a sweet <laughs> no, private no. like box thing, and then with well, the last time we went, uh, Stranger Things, all the cast Stranger Things things. No way. Us, uh, um, Tracy Morgan. Who else was there? It was Is one that where you get a fast? No, Tracy. <laughs> Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy Morgan, oh, the comedian. Do I know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was going like, you're comedians here. <laughs> I, I, I pulled his name out of the hat. Um, is Tracy Chapman a man or a woman? A uh, woman. It's I a always woman. get confused too. Uh, and I, I thought it was a man. That's a woman thing. That's always it. Yeah, yeah. I'll still not, not remember that the next time. It's one of those things I'll, I'll mm. not accept that information. I'll uh, still question it forever. <laughs> 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 Doubt it. Yeah. Um, so you don't have remember by a moment just because you, obviously I didn't explain myself properly? No, because you send a voice note. And then just rambled. Yeah. See if you send a message. No. No. Oh, I, I'm more of a voice note kind of person. I, I love well. a voice note. I mm. think it's a fantastic yeah. uh, creation well, in mine. our new society. <laughs> <laughs> no. But you end up like I always find myself just drifting off yes, the actual tangent. point. 
like randomly yeah. start going. That's what this podcast for life is all about. Start time. asking like different things. So you remember when moment has to be something I remember or everyone remembers? Either or. It's just content, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just going to tell a story about the first time we ever went on the beak in school. And my What's brother on the beak, me? Yeah, uh, skipping school. Skipping school, no. On the yeah. beak? Yeah, I couldn't do that. <laughs> we say dobbin. What? That's too close to dogin. <laughs> yeah, but well, that's what we did when we were dobbin. <laughs> on the beak. On the beak, yeah. So you were, that's it was, on the, the It was the very first thing that came to my mind, because you said, yeah, yeah, she yeah. kept saying, you can't speak about 9-11, so I'm thinking about 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Like, I, like while, while Jordan started his conversation about the Bill Vice Jans and hating Bill Clinton, I got to myself, 9-11. Don't speak about 9-11. 9/11. It's and like Foldy Towers. And then it started bar. thinking, like, Bill Clinton wasn't the president in 9-11. <laughs> George Bush? George Bush, what? That's yeah, all yeah. 9-11. And then trying to drag it back. To <laughs> so I got, Where did you go and what age were you when you went on the beak? <laughs> I was I was pretty late, as I said, I was very good in school, but my friends and my younger brother, Brenton, and my cousin, who was always the bad influence, um, they weren't. And uh, yeah, we went on the beak to the Falls Park. Right. Fantastic day. Yeah. But unbeknownst that we did not tame our, uh, well, Brenton, my brother, didn't tame his uh, bathroom bricks well. <laughs> so he's busting for a shite about halfway through the day. <laughs> it was the best crack ever, knowing that someone wasn't. Because he couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> I, I couldn't go oh, anywhere. Oh, I... uh, <laughs> Suppose too, because if it went under like any of the wee local places, they'd be like, why are you not in school? I was one of the comments, why are you not in school? He's going to get caught. Don't tell me there. So what, they all the shit done all day? No, he... he, he, he <laughs> Shattered himself. <laughs> <laughs> he shot himself. <laughs> he, went, he went in the bushes in the false part. No, he didn't. Oh, he didn't. And his he's, a there he's a doctor day. leaf. He's a doctor leaf. <laughs> the same false part where he broke his leg jumping across again. I think we're on the beak and he jumped across and. Broke his leg? He broke his leg and across the river. Uh, Nobody believed him. In the house. <laughs> no, <laughs> some fella had to put him in the back of the car, drive him dead, and we were going like, our brains are in the car, some fella. The fucking things you did with your church, you know what I mean? No. We used to go to like, I remember going to, yeah, like we went, we we I just did it, our bread in here twice now for shitting in the park and getting... Nobody get <laughs> well, will get slagged for shitting himself in the park. No, I actually think he went to a garage on, I, the, on the Falls Road. Fuck, yeah, 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 Maguire's <laughs> garage. He used the loads of toilet roll and went to a garage. <laughs> <laughs> he still smells of shit. Uh, and I'm still thinking, I was in school in 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> so was I we're not talking about it I'll go mad um, right thank you so much both of you for joining me on the podcast today thank you Thanks, Israel, I think you want to plug Instagram handles or Twitter handles and anything no, no? Jordan. oh yeah no I got this um, so, yeah 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 uh, Jordan Robinson comedy uh, on Instagram do loads of gigs they're all up there uh, and I also do two podcasts uh, one with uh, Darren Matthews called Injury Time and another one called Bookline and Sinker it's like a book club podcast with Rachel McPeak. Oh, very good. Yeah. Oh, I didn't so, know about that one. Yeah, no, that's uh, we're recording the second episode this week. So, yeah, it's like a kind of. Did like, you read a book? Yeah. So each the, week. Each week. Yeah. Shit, I know. I know. But we started small. We got, we read like pamphlets. The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the old man Just in like the here's sea. a meningitis pamphlet from the doctors. <laughs> <laughs> we'll discuss that on the podcast. <laughs> um, the the first episode was old man in the sea, and it's only like ninety pages. Okay. And, uh, Animal Farm, and then we're getting we'll get the War and Peace when it's like I don't know a thousand pages or something like that yeah. we'll get there in a week you can do a book in a week oh yeah, yeah. I mean we all could but like oh yeah I don't have I don't, invest I, the time in it I don't have to look after children that much I, I, I get like two hours a day where I have to look after them and then I'm grand but I bet you if I like stopped scrolling on my phone and read a book I'd read a book in a week oh yeah do you know what I mean I read a book I, well, I read, I read a book. I read a book. <laughs> <laughs> I have oh, a I read a book. book. <laughs> I, I read, but I would, I would struggle to get through I started to drift off the end, you know, I'm yeah. an end of the night guy. Yeah, yeah. That'll make you sleepy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And every night I read a book. Yeah. I also, oh, you do? Ah, every night. Oh, I, I, I. But, right. but you just get sleepy. And then do you not forget the bit that you read? Cause no. You, oh, that always happens. I started to feel myself going to sleep and going, fuck, I'm going to sleep. Yeah. Mm. I've reread loads of bits of the same books, usually autobiographies, because I'm like, <laughs> I can't remember. No, I'm not I'm at the point I'll where get, she killed Rosalind I'll, I'll get distracted if I'm listening, let her know if I'm listening to something. Yeah. Um, I'll I'll go lift my phone when I'm when you're listening yeah. to it and then you're I'm yeah. not even listening to him no more I'm listening to a Audio voice books. note from someone else. Audio book it cheat. Mm, no, I can I can do that. 
But uh, nobody w- will know except for us and everyone who listens to this podcast. <laughs> yeah, very true. <laughs> um, no, I don't know. I like reading. I, I genuinely find it enjoyable. So, How many pages in it do you read? Um, well, it depends. Um, like when I'm not gigging. Uh, I would probably just like <laughs> sit and that read the, continuously. That is the worst chat up line I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Many pages. Are you getting in for night? <laughs> you in a double digits? Or? <laughs> <laughs> what reading grip are you in at school? <laughs> are you in the red uh, table or the blue table? <laughs> It's a genuine question. I'm really interested in notes, so I can compare notes here. <laughs> Am I an idiot here for only getting two, three oh, pages of notes? <laughs> oh, wouldn't fit Jordan as the barometer. He runs a book, a book club, so we would, would measure your. Oh no, no! I, I actually misread her messages again, again on the the coming on because I mm-hmm. uh, did. She say Jordan Peterson? Like, <laughs> oh yeah, Jordan Peterson is on. And I go, I th- th- here, Jordan Peterson's going to be on this podcast. I don't know how, like, but. I can do the accent. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that but he's, he's his brainy, it seems <laughs> like. Uh... Right, thank you so much for coming on. It's been an absolute pleasure. Have a lovely day. I Thanks for everybody for listening and watching and I don't know whatever you're doing. <laughs> Reading. What is this? Is on. <laughs> <laughs>